Like it or not, baby, we're going to work on you being great. You got that? You are this child's father. <laughs> Told you. Now we've lied about who you've had sex with. You've lied about how recently you've had sex. What else did you lie about? You were a victim of Katrina. Yes, ma'am. This country didn't do enough, and they still haven't done enough. No, no, no. I don't care if it's a punch or backhand. Why did you beat up on her? That's the question. It sounds like to me that she's a bit of a trauma queen. No. Oh, no, yes. Yeah. I expect what? Great. Absolutely. If it were easy, everybody and their mama could do it. You're on drugs? I've been using meth. For how long? For about a year and a half. Your daughter is out of control. She disappeared, I think, one time for six weeks. I could get money. Oh, you can get money doing yeah. what? Basically selling. Selling what? Drugs. Oh, I know you didn't stand here and say that in my courtroom. You're causing all kind of hell and chaos in your house. It makes no sense to me. Darian has been suspended so many times, Judge, that I can't even count him. He has just been acting a fool. Don't roll your eyes in here, boy. Oh, do not. Oh, you're messing with the wrong person in here today. Just from your room? Yes, it is. Did you draw it? Yes, I did. This can be fixed. Because my instincts tell me that deep down in his soul, this is a good kid. He just is trying to be a thug. All right, we're going to take a recess. Take him out of here, Tom. And you be prepared to work harder than you have worked in your life, because we're getting ready to be hard on you. You got that? All right. You don't have to smoke pot. You don't have to sell it. You don't have to belittle yourself. Everything in life worth having is worth working for. Hey! All right, let's go. I love Habitat for Humanity, and I wanted Brittany to see firsthand what it means when people come together to work for something positive. If you absolutely turn down New Hope Road, I want you to hear this, and you go far enough, and you look over your shoulder, you'll never see the old road again. You should think about what it is you have to be grateful for to the Little Rock Nine. We decided going here, regardless of all of that opposition, was so important, not only to, to us, but other people as well. I want to make a declaration over your life today. Mm. And it's out of my name, Bernice A. King, and it's Be a King. And I'm making that declaration to you today you. to be a king Ooh. and raise the standard. I'm going to be your reality check. In fact, she's going to have to spend the weekend with me. Don't let anybody get between you and your friends. Hey, you You are a godsend. <laughs> you are a godsend to my family. And I can't thank you enough. I got a heart necklace for you. Since you were able to put my heart and my family's heart back together, this is a token of my appreciation for what you've done to me. You saved my life. That's what I felt like. You really saved my life. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you isn't even enough for the way I felt. believe you're the second child's I had father? doubts at the time, you know, back then when he was, when he was conceived, because we only had sex the one time. Your honor, he is lying. I have never cheated on Roger. Never. Never. He's mine regardless of if it's blood or not. I was young. I, I really thought I was know. in love. But what's love got to do with this? <laughs> So what do you think it's going to say? I don't know what it's going to say. What do you think it's going to say? You are not the father. <laughs> well, let's see. Ooh, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. wrong. Kisha, you got a whole lot of explaining to do. Neither man is this child's father. He is not Leander's father. There's a major problem in here, Danielle. You stood in here and lied. This man, for 20 years, you have told him he was the father. He is not this child's father. Is this 
is your baby? I must. No, don't I don't want to marry you. But let me tell you, before you get in a situation like this again, you need to be real clear about what you're doing and who you're doing it with. Judge Glenda Hatchett has seen it all when it comes to at-risk teens, and she's here to tell us how to spot a troubled teen before they end up in a court like hers. The first thing is to just go with your gut. If it seems like it's a problem, and I would just encourage all of us to pay close attention. Joining us in New York is Judge Glenda Hatchett, the host of her own television show. I think that that really is uh, what the prosecutors have to rely on in this situation. And of course, the question becomes how did the third wife die and now we have a fourth wife missing and then some speculation that he was involved with the fourth wife at the time but no we really have to look at all the pieces and if there are problems the jury needs to know that would you say kevin federline should have primary custody of those two small little boys i will tell you it would be very hard for me to say emphatically to you right now that he should have custody but i will tell you that the more I hear and the more that goes on, I really question whether she is fit to parent these children. I was really impressed with the interview that I saw earlier today with Beyonce's father and talking about just how they have worked at it. But I think that you have to have the structure. I think that you have to have those things really instilled in you. And I think that you have to have clear anchors in your life. The judge, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Sure. They turn 18, they graduate from high school, and they get a voucher, and they're out on the street. I mean, what are you going to do with $1,500? Right. Right. You're 18, therefore, kids who are in foster care are more likely to be drug addicts, prostitutes, homeless. Right. We need to do a better job. We can get all this system. money to move troops <laughs> ostensibly halfway around the world to liberate a people. We can do better for children. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. I've been this for a long time. Don't be trying to play a game with me. I'm not giving you a dime. You can't get your story straight. He is not this Save my life. I expect great things. Woo! Action. Action. Action.